Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regent's got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. Whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond better scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone and half I've heard worse. 
How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats! Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat was funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. It's time to put him to the question. Whenever you're ready, Corvo. He can get us closer to the Lord Regent. It's unfortunate, but this must be done. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. <laughs> 